You guys drinking tonight, man? Yeah, getting shit-faced. Man, you ever drink so much, the next morning you wake up, you're not even hungover? You're like, I'm not even hungover. Then you realize, I'm still drunk. This is awesome. You're going into work, you're high-fiving the janitor and shit. Or you might be the janitor, I don't know. I would get the drunk munchies. Oh, that was a man. I went to McDonald's one time. I tried to get a 20 piece nugget. The dude was like, You just want to do 50 for 10 bucks? I'm like, Are you a cop or something? And that's way too cheap for nuggets. Like, I'm drunk, but I know a good deal when I see it. So I look at my wallet. I have a $20 bill. I'm like, Oh my God. Let me get 100, okay? 100 nuggets. And he looks at me, he's like, that's gonna take a while. I'm like, I just ordered 100 nuggets. You think I have shit to do, man? Like, I'm not on my way to a business meeting, okay? He's making them. Whatever you guys think 100 nuggets looks like, it is so much more. He handed me a bag of nuggets and they're falling off and they're hitting the ground. You know what it's like to have a nugget in the floor and not even care? You just look at it like, oh well. <laughs> I've got 99 problems, but a nugget's not one. You know? So many nuggets, dude. I had so many, I felt like a king. You don't know the power you have with that many nuggets. I would see homeless people, I was like, ah, oh, take your nugget, you peasant. Feed your families for this nuggets. Nugget for you, nugget for you. I was like, Oprah, like, you get a nugget, you get a nugget, you get a nugget. 100 nuggets, three barbecue sauces. Really, McDonald's? Come on, man. I can't go back to a six-piece nugget now, dude. You ever have six nuggets and a friend ask you for one? And you're like, you son of a bitch. <laughs> you clearly see I have six nuggets. They're asking for a sixth of my meal. Would you like a kidney as well? I have two of those. I wanted to go to a strip club so bad with those <laughs> nuggets, man. <laughs> How great would that be if you could feed the strippers, right? They're dancing all of a sudden, nugget, like, ah, <laughs> jump out. Like in SeaWorld, that'd be so cool, man. I got in trouble at McDonald's the other day, dude. You guys ever check your bag while you're at the window before you leave just to make sure the shit's in there, right? I was checking the other day, and the lady saw me checking. She's like, what, you don't trust me? And I'm like, no, I don't. I'm, sorry. I'm like, you don't trust me. There's a reason I got to pay at the first window and not the second window. It's like a drug deal, right? You go to the first window. They're like, give me the money. My homie's got the bag with the shit. Second window, go. Am I going to see you again? Just get out of here. Then you go to the second window guy. Second window guy, not as smart as first window guy. You ever ask the second window guy a first window guy question and they freak out, dude? Next time you're in the second window, be like, hey, can I add a soda? They're like, <gasps> You know, just take it, get out of here. They, they just give me this shit, man. The worst is when you go to the second window and they don't have your food ready and they're like, you pull four and they put you in fast food timeout, man. <laughs> fast food timeout sucks, right? Everyone's passing you with their food. Like, what'd that guy order? <laughs> Must order some weird shit. <laughs> I almost like it when they mess up my order though, dude. Cause I don't want it something free. That's the best. I go in cocky too. I'll be like, excuse me, you forgot my fries. They're like, oh sir, have a soda while you wait. I'm like, ha <laughs> That will not do. I had a lot of plans today and... You know what, just give me McFlurry and we'll call it even. And they're like, whoa, we didn't fuck your sister, okay? Chill out. <laughs> McFlurry.